What's up guys? It's Staz here. But you don't really care as I'm gonna put on a warm doublet. We have now marked out the entire central region of all of the Koroks, except for all the ones in Hyrule Castle because we literally ran out of pins. There are 130 Koroks still left for us to get. We have 770 total, so this is literally gonna be the last bit. And, of course, we're going to go through all of the Koroks from the southernmost portion up to the north until we've gotten absolutely everything, including the last ever Korok ever. And then, well, we'll go to Hestu and give in 900 Korok seeds. For now, though, we're going to go way down, just a little bit west of the River of the Dead, to the bottom of the waterfall on the western edge of the Great Plateau. And for this one, you simply need to throw a rock in the rock circle. Oh, nope. Oh, there you go. That's 3.30 now, apparently. Okay. Now we're going to go just a little bit southwest of this island here. You want to be on top of the island, though. Ignoring the Hinox, there is a lily pad just off the edge of this island to get your Korok. Next, we're going northwest of the Dig Dog Suspensions Bridge, as it's called, to this little bit here. And this guy is another throw the rock in kind of Korok. Done. Next, we're going just south of this island here. And all we need to do, pick up the rock. This guy was actually right here, but you get the gist. Anyway, now we're going to the trees, just up on the mound a bit more. And for this, you just need to pick up the rock at the top of the tree. At this point, we're kind of going to do a little bit of a scope from west to right. So I'm going to go take on all these crocs in the lines. Let's first go just northwest of the Colosseum Ruins, the big circular building. And up here, all we need to do is stand on the stump and do our thing. Wherever the acorns are. There they are, just above the trees. Next, we're going just directly west of the Colosseum Ruins, down on this little mound down there. This guy's literally just on the side, and you just need to pick him up. Next, we're going just southwest of the Colosseum Ruins by the patch of trees. And for this, all you need to do is break the acorn in the log. Now we're going to the top of this little mound south of the Colosseum. Pick up the rock. Now we're going just a tiny bit north of the Colosseum, just by the tree. Actually, you know what? We're going to go for the one just a little bit in the Colosseum because we actually need to be on the top floor of the Colosseum and I'd rather just do it from the top rather than climbing my way up. So, there is a rock on the top floor. Pick it up once you find it. Well, it turns out it's actually on the outer part of the Colosseum, and I've just started raining now, so I can't do that now. So we're going to go for the northern one instead. Don't worry, I'll get to it in a moment. So there is a tree just north of the Colosseum, surrounded by malice. It's going to take us to that rock point over there. Well, race us to it. Now let's try that Colosseum one again. Oh, here it is. Somehow I missed it through all that, but it's... Oh, what a pain to get to. On the northern bit. Just way off, just above the entrance, basically. And finally, we're now going southwest of the uh, southeast Colosseum trees. You know the drill. And it's an invisible Korok. Next up, we're going just north of the uh, Great Plateau Omano Shrine. We're going to these forests here. This forest here, and then the mound. And this one's another invisible one. Just around the forest. We don't need that. And at the top of the mound is a balloon Korok. I lost way too many arrows on that easy one. No, you don't need that either. Next, we're going to the southern part of Lake Colomo with these two Koroks here. And for this Korok, you just need to break the leaves. This is the one inside the uh, ruins. The other is a lily pad Korok, which I missed. Next, we're going just north of the Proxim Bridge to this northern part of the ruins, just north of it. Thank you for the well-placed star fragment, shooting star. Right, we need to go to the northern part of the ruins because it's an archery test with some acorns that are going to appear through this window. Yeah. Next, we're going to do another sweep from... Actually, no, let's go to the east and then go west and then do it like a zigzag. So next, we're going to go just to the bridge west of the Batria Lake. So this is the Olan Bridge, and the Korok is just underneath dangling an acorn under. And next we're going just northwest to another stump. And you just shoot more balloons. Next we're going just northwest of the shrine to the top of the Whistling Hill. And up here is a clump of trees, one of which has an acorn in it. 
Next, we're heading directly southwest to another clump of trees. And for this one, there's a big tree that at the top is a rock you can pick up. Wow, that's a beautiful Korok background. Now we're going directly west to the top of this mountain. Mound, you know what I mean. Up here, there is a rock formation with the rocks literally just right near each other. And next, we're going directly north to another clump of trees where there are invisible fairy lights running around. Next, we're going back to Lake Colomo at the northern part of it. So at the north, you'll find all of these white trees and also another one that's a little out of place with a dangling acorn. Now we're gonna go directly north to the exchange ruins, to the trees first, and then the ruins to the west of it. Right, in the trees is just a bit to the east of it, a flower that's gonna take you through them. Playing this with no sound again. Now ready to roll. And the exchange ruins has an invisible Korok running around. Next we're going back to the Kwame, Kwame, yes, Kwame bridge. Just don't, going down it, that's a bit north of the Colosseum. First one is a rock formation. Missing rocks in the direction of the missing piece behind some bushes. And just a bit more to the west is a cube puzzle. Not too difficult. Just off the southern edge of this cliff is your rock just hanging on the edge. Ooh. And it's a bridge, so of course there is another dangling acorn underneath it. I both hit it and died at the same time. Good, good, good job me. Hmm. So now we're going west of the water. We're going to these three just east of the Renes uh, Regencia River. First one is a simple rock formation. Second is a rock circle. And the third one has you putting a ball in a stump. Different. So those done, I think we're going to do a really wide go now. So we're going to go to the Giant's Forest and take on this whole width of Koroks. So yes, we're going now right to the island, or the, the uh, ruins at Giant's Forest. And at the Sage Temple ruins, all you need to do is pick up this rock on a standalone wall. Next we're going directly south, just to the uh, beach, I guess, south of it. And it is another cube puzzle with a cube in the water. Typical. I don't know what it is with my microphone just stopping after like 52 minutes. Well, it'll, this time it stopped at 52 minutes. S sorry, I don't have time to go back and re 
I commentate the ones that you missed, so you'll just have to deal with the text for now. It should be good enough. I would hope so. Let's continue. <sighs> anyway, what I set up, what I wanted to do even, is I want to go from east to west again. Now we're going to go from the more garrison ruins and then take away... Wait, we've already we've already done this one, so not, not that one. But then we'll go just south of the Krennel Peak. No, we've done that one too. Good job, me and that one. Where's... Uh, which ones haven't we done? Okay, redone. Now we can see that actually I want to take on these four Koroks first, and then we'll go through this last little rush. So now we're going directly north uh, to the Mabe Prairie. At the prairie is a mount. At the top of the mount, a rock. Surprise, surprise. Next, we're going directly west. Still part of the prairie, I guess. Anyway, here we are. It is a tower with a surrounding boulder formation around it, and the boulder is at the top of the tower, so you need to mark it down with the Basically, it's like a mini game of golf. Sure, we will. So now we're going straight up north, just to the Appian Forest. And this is a tree puzzle. I'm quite surprised it took this long to actually find another one. Make all the apples match, or just the trees match, using the apples. And now we're going to the bridge, just southeast of where we are now. Uh, this is the Rebene Bridge, although I haven't seen the name come up. There it is. And the rock is just underneath the bridge on the western side. And now that that's all done, we're ready to take on pretty much everything except Hyrule Castle. Again, we've still got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be labelled, but otherwise, we're going to go from the east, since that's where we already are, taking out all of the Koroks on the way. The top three here are part of Hyrule Castle. It's where I started right in the pin, so we're not going to go for those, but still. Let's go now to... This next bridge just by the Trilby Plain. Here we are at the Thims Bridge, and all we need to do is throw rocks in their circle again. Or hurt yourself? Yeah. Next we're going over to the Crenel Hills, just on the eastern part of it. Right, so this Korok is simply in a stump right about here. And just pick up the rock in that stump. Next we'll go to the southern part of the Crenel Hills, just here. And this one is an archery test on top of the log. The trick is one of the balloons is hidden in the log. Nice. Right, now we're going north again, just a little bit west of the shrine. So for this one, there is a giant stump in the Crenel Hills. There are actually two. One of them has the shrine and one of them has this empty pole tree. Get to the top of the pole tree and that is where you'll find your Korok. If you can even get on the tree. Now we're gonna go southwest to the next part of the Crest Hills. Uh, Crenel Hills is just here. I can't really give you much more descriptions. This whole place looks like its own. It just looks at like the same place everywhere. So yeah. So this cork is nice and easy. In the log is a rock. Pick it up for it. Right, and last thing in the Crenel Hills is, I guess, kind of this body of water, which I've kind of hidden with my marker, but there is a body of water there. You'll never guess what type of Korok it is. Lily pad. I missed. Oh, good. Yeah. That's about as well as I thought it would go. Oh. Now we're going to go just a little bit north of the Crenel Hills, because it's the easternmost one, just on this little ridge. Here is a cube puzzle. The other one's on the other side. There we go. Yeah. Next one we're going to is on the next bridge by the Romani Plains. It's the Orsed Bridge, and as you can imagine, it's a dangling acorn. Next we're going southwest of the Crenel Hills, just east of the word Hylia River. <laughs> and here it's an invisible Korok. Now we're going just a little bit north again. We're going to take on these two Koroks east of the Hylia Castle Moat. First things first, we're going to the forest. And in the forest, there is a tree with an acorn in it. Next one's obviously directly to the west. And in the Hyrule Forest Park, on the fountain, is a rock to pick up. Next, we're going down to the next bridge by Hylia River. This time going uh, north and southwards. Oh, great. Welcome to the Boneyard Bridge. Damn it, the one time I stopped coming off this camera angle. It's a rock circle, so I better deal with this guy. Okay, so all we need to do, obviously, throw it in. We've done this before. Ugh. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, that worked. Okay, then. Thought I lost them all. 
next then, I guess we're going to full on take Hyrule Castle, or at least the central square. So now we're going to the top right portion of it, in this little area here. Welcome to the Hyrule Cathedral. Doesn't, uh, doesn't look like it much now, does it? Anyway, under the leaves, if I have something sharp, sure, Master Sword will do. Under a rock, a Korok. Next we're going to the bottom right hand corner by East Castle Town, just along the path. Once again, there's a flagpole. Get to the top of it. This is the Castle Tower Watchtower. Castle Town Watchtower. Next one is just a little bit south of it. It is a store, a uh, metal door slate. Watch him has it. And that's 400, at least in our hands right now. We've, I think we've had over 400 at a point. Anyway, now we're going to Hyrule Castle Town ruins at the front. We'll go to this guy first. Yeah, sure. And it's another archery test, which actually a bomb rock might take care of nicely. If I even hit one. Right, next let's go to the Sacred Ground Ruins. Since there is actually one there, it's the only one that's not part of Hyrule Castle now at this point, I guess technically, yeah sure. So for this, there is clearly only one pillar actually still in pe one piece that's actually lengthy other than that one over there. So, at the top is a rock, underneath, Ikorok. Hey look, we've gone right through the main entrance and there's a nice context uh, relevant one. Up above the gate is a Hylian shield, target practice. Yeah. Although it's not actually target practice, so maybe not, but oh well, either way that's how you get that Korok. Can I actually climb up from in here? Because if I could that'd be a little helpful, yes I can. Cool. Next one is on the western side, it is a race taking us to that fountain in the middle. I'll see you in a moment. Next up we're going out of Central Square now, we're going just west of the Sacred Ground Ruins. Right here we are, and it's just by the western gate pretty much. There is a gate here believe it or not, and it's just a rock on top of it. Right now I think I'm going to go from south to north for this last little bit, and then we'll go into the main part of Hyrule Castle. So now we're going further along the path, just north of Mount Gustav. So over here on the northern part of the mound is a bombable rock, which actually I might be able to explode with a guardian. Can I? Oh my god I could! Awesome! And underneath that is your Korok, if you don't get shot. That was actually really impressive. I'm going out of myself now. Uh, next we're going to go further along the path to the other end of Carrick Bridge. This guardian is struggling to uh, keep up now, which is kind of fun because I took off of one limb. Hey, it's Carrick Bridge! You know what that means! Da, da. Ah, oh, I guess I was wrong on that one. Excuse me. Believe it or not, Carrock Bridge is not a dangling acorn. I think we had one earlier on this same bridge, but it was on another region. We actually need to be just by this mound, pick up the rock from nearby. Right, now we're going back to the Quarry Hills, just on this little patch there. And right here is a pick up a bull rock. Now we're going to the oh, trees just east of the word quarry plains when you zoom in all the way. And with this you just need to shoot the balloon in the tree. It's on the west side of the gate. Now we're going directly north, just another, I think that's a gate. Those look like some sort of pipelines, we'll find out. Yes this is more gate walls and there is a rock here preparing us for the rock formation down here. Druid sign? I can't remember if that's a druid sign. You know what? Never mind. Probably not. I'm thinking too much Merlin, but I'm probably wrong anyway. Right, now we're going to the peak of the, the, the mound unnamed from the quarry ruins, or north of it. And up here is another rock formation with the rock hiding away where the missing pieces. Da -da -da -da. There it is. Nice. Next one nearby is directly north, which the Korok just completely disorientated me on. North is towards, oh yes it is towards the Cairo Castle, okay. And my marker is not in the water as I originally thought it was, it's actually here, just a tiny bit north of the mountain, like the northern edge of it. It's bombable rock, and inside your pickable Korok. Rock. Whatever. Next we're going to the Moat Bridge. And it's not an it's not an acorn Korok this time, it's a lily pad Korok. 
Next up, we're going just by the shrine, just a little bit northeast of it. And just at the top of the mound is the rock. Right, apparently my marker was way off on that. Excuse me. Right, now we're going directly north to the western, I guess, corner, if you can call it a corner, of this little island. Where there's an archery chest. Yes, there it is. Just an acorn way off in the distance by the trees. Wow, that worked. Huh. <laughs> nice. Now we're gonna go to the last two Koroks here that are on the edge of this bridge, uh, a path even. Now the first of which is an offering of a rusty shield. Okay. That is odd. We don't have one. Oh, great. Thankfully, if you don't actually have one, there is a rusty shield just by the uh, southeast of where we are. It's on like a crumbled wall piece. That we can then take to the offering. Watch him has it. Fun fact, this is also where you get the Tingle shirt if you got the DLC. And now we've got a Magnesis or Cube puzzle right here. Oh, okay, I just put it in please. I was trying to find the other half, but alright, it goes there. Good to know. Right then, before we go to Hyrule Castle, there's one more Korok to take on, I, I think, right? I haven't missed one. Good, no. We're going to the last little leg, or I guess pillar, before Kyra Castle. And this Korok is nice and easily found behind, or underneath a rock behind the pillar. Right. Let's go take on Hyrule Castle, shall we? 